Hi guys, hope everyone's doing well. Um, I've been to the car boot this morning, the flea market, buying junk. So those who are interested in junk or having a guess and guess the price, you'll have uh, plenty to look at today. Um, so the first car boot, I didn't buy too much, but I did buy some tools, so I'll show you what I got. But before I do that, thank you Scout Crafter for uh, mentioning um, to save the cable when I changed over my consumer unit fuse board. Um, that's going to be handy stock, especially this chunky stuff for wrapping around things. So I didn't think of that. John, Mr. Frugal himself, thank you. I nearly sliced, sliced my hand off about five times trying to get the cable off it. But thank you anyway. Um, so I appreciate that, John. I'll stick that there. Uh, so the first thing I went to was the and at the first stall, literally walked out of the car, first car. He had these bolts. And these are quite handy, you know, for backs of doors and stuff. And they've got the long handle. Um, so a bit of hardware they're missing the square what well, you go in the concrete but if you're going into concrete it should be fine um, so I asked him I said how much for your bolts mate he said three quid I said do you want two he went yeah go on so two pound so about two and a half dollars or so for two bolts I thought can't say no um, then in the next door was this 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 lady and she had these she was clearing her state of a father and she was getting to the end of it now. I've bought a few things off her in the recent months, but there weren't much there today. Um, but this one is, um, what does it say, CKN or something? Uh, Ratchet, super driver, quality engineered, made in England. Um, and what's quite fun is this, is this is a Phillips, runs, that's a solid, and then back and then the other way forward. So it runs really well quite nice so that was a, quite a nice one actually then we've got this one here which is not as in a good condition let's have a look what does that say uh spiralux or something model uh, 620 england um sounds a bit rougher that one but that's not a phillips this is a more modern um drive but uh, anyway what can you do um there's this one a stanley yankee has it got a model number on it uh, a number 10A, so I thought that was a bit of fun. Handle's not too bad, um, but nothing special. Little screwdriver, so I chuck that in. And then we've got this longer one. Um, what's that got a model number on it? Oh, it says number 10A. How can they both be number 10A when one's short and one's long? I mean, I thought the mechanism's going to be the same. Don't get that. Anyway, a long and a short 10A, but the star for me is this one here. Uh, Sheffield and it's made by Gordon Tools and look at that blue it's like an emerald and I recently um, sanded down this uh, red German one and this is a, I think this is like a number four or something number three Phillips so that'll go in the collection and it's got the writing on the actual thing as well England and all the rest of it Phillips so I think I'll end up losing that Sheffield England when I sand it out with my big fat fingers but I think that'll come out nice. So it'd be like a bit of a um, Frankenstein set of um, different ones. So I thought that was a bit of fun. So the lady wanted, um, in the end, I negotiated down to £3 for the five. So 50p each and a pound for that one, which is my favourite. So, yep, yeah, so that was that. So it's £3 and, and £2. So we're up to a fiver now. And the next stall I went to, the, the, the chap had this little quarter inch ratchet. And I said, how much is your ratchet, mate? He said, £8. I went eight pound for a ratchet for a little quarter inch breaker bar. I said, "What is it? Snap on or something?" And he went, and it's got no branding on it at all. I said, "You can't ask for eight pound for that." But the knurling is really nice and it's really sharp. So, so I said, "Hang on a minute. Let me get some bits together and see if we can have a deal." Um, so the next thing I picked out was this um, uh, Raff Bone and Son Birmingham Sheffield um, level. Um, and it's got the vial on the end as well. Uh, it's nothing special, but it's in quite nice order. And I like collecting the boat, boat style air uh, levels. So this one's got a little bit of brass as well to protect it. So I chucked that in. He wanted £10 for that, £8 for that. And he had this quite interesting, it's got quite a nice little patina actually. It's got a look to it that has. Um, 1943. So that's from World War II, that right in the middle of the war. And it runs pretty smooth, really slow though, but it runs really smooth. So I thought, 
my god you'd be there for a week wouldn't you to do that but yeah so i threw that and he wanted 10 pound for that so in the end after a heavy negotiation he's a nice guy by the way and he actually gave me his phone number and he said he might have some bits and bobs to have a look at so hopefully he might have some more spanners and bits and bobs for me but anyway so in the end i negotiated him down to 12 pound which was basically um two pound for the little quarter inch um um breaker bar and then five pound for the level and five pound for the uh, little spanner and um, that's quite interesting with it being war one so anyway so i ended up paying 12 pound for that nothing special but if i get if he's got some more interesting stuff that'll be good i'll briefly show you um something else i bought and um, it's kind of interesting so there was this lad and he had these set of dinosaurs which i bought for my son and they're all made by schleich um which is um which is a German maker, um, Schleich dinosaurs, and they're about £20 each for the big ones, and like £10 and six, £12. So they had this whole collection. They've got these three here, which are not Schleich, and then they've written these cards out saying what they are, like Triceratops, Brontosaurus, and all the rest of it. So I said, how much are your... Um, and it, uh, how much is your collection of dinosaurs, my love? She said £8, so I thought she meant £8 each. And she went, no, for the whole lot. I said, eight pound. I said, right, so, and then I looked at the book and it says dinosaur collection, eight pound, with a book as well, and then these three. So I gave her I gave her the eight pound and she gave me the two pound change. And I walked away and I felt a bit, I felt a bit bad. So you had two little girls, a boy and a girl. So I went back and I gave them the change back. So I gave them two pound, um, so it was 10. Even that was cheap. So I said, yeah, I buy some sweeties. And these are for me, lad. I also bought this off another chap, which is a slight dinosaur and a couple of animals for his collection. And I paid three pound for that set. But for eight, for ten pound, for basically they're a pound each with a book as well. So he, that's so I thought I can't give I can't give take eight. So that was fine. Um, and I'll show you as well now the uh, guess, the guess of the day. So we go from a bargain to not such a bargain um so i saw this two two weeks ago the guy wasn't on last week and i bought quite a lot of him in the past really nice guy but he doesn't have charge so last week i got him down to 75 uh, the week before i got him down to 75 pounds on this and he won't go any lower he said he's too he's, he's rare he said they sell for about 200 quid so i googled anvil with a nutcracker and i didn't find any examples so I have no idea, so he got me by it, and I, did, I, don't, I have no idea if it's worth 50p or if it's worth millions, but he said it's got a beautiful patina, I said that's not patina, that is horrible nasty rust, that's not patina, he went no it's patina, I said no it's not patina, That's pat you could argue, there's an argument to say that's patina, and I would go yeah fair enough, it's got that feel on it, you know, why make it shiny, I get that. But there's absolutely, that is not patina. And he would say, no, it's patina, that you don't want to touch it. He said, my brother started grinding it and I shouted at him. I said, that's not patina, that's just horrible rust. So anyway, we had that argument. So so in the end, I bought it, I bit the bullet and I bought it. I don't know why, I couldn't help myself, but I bought it. So he wanted 75 quid, it was a bit of haggling. How much do you think I paid for that? I'll give you the price he asked because I don't want people to stay five pound and three pound and waste the gas. So that's the guess. It's a right Hinkley. I've no idea the age. I've no idea if it's rare. I just bought it. I couldn't help myself. So put your guesses in the description below. Much appreciated. Tell me if you know anything about this anvil or if it is worth anything. Let me know. I know if I've been took like usual. But yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Leave a comment below. All right, bye.